You are going to say, Father, contend with those who contend with me. Feed them with their own blood. Let them be drunk with their own blood as with sweet, sweet wine. Jesus, you are warming up. You are warming, we are coming little by little. Luke chapter 3 verse 9. Even now the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. It does not end there. The Bible says, therefore every tree that is not planted by my father shall be uprooted from the roots. Anything in your life that you can say from the beginning it was not so. I don't think God created you with diabetes. I don't think he created you with hypertension. I don't think he created your child with learning disability. Therefore, you are going to say, every tree that was not planted from my father, I uproot in the name of Jesus. I uproot. I uproot. I uproot. I uproot. I uproot. Every tree. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Matthew chapter 13 verses 24 to 25. Listen. The Bible says, when men slept, the enemy sowed tears. Look, we have to sleep at some point. Uh -huh. But there's some people whose work it is not to sleep. So you pray during the day. During the night, they slow, sow tears amongst your crops. Please, people should stop saying, Mio, I don't say that it should be bad for anybody. So nobody can say it should be bad for me. There's some people who are not happy because you are happy. Just because you are happy, they're not happy. Mm. There's some people, you don't understand wicked though. There's some people whose job it is to make sure that happy people mourn. Uh -uh. <laughs> they, are, they don't know the address of our own house. I thought you said Amen. So when men slept, they saw tears. You know what we're going to do? Since we know we slept now, we're going to come and uproot every tear that they saw during the night. Ha! I uproot every tear that the enemy has sown in my life and in my generation in Jesus' name. I don't know if it is in the job area. Is it whatever? Every tear I uproot. Everything God did not plant that is breathing in my generation. I uproot every tear in his life. In Toju's life, in Corey's life, in my life, I uproot every tear, every tear. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 11. 54, 11. First, they'll put 54, 11 up. I will say Psalm 11, 3. If the foundations be discovered, what shall the righteous do? We are going down to the foundation of your life now. Because that's where, I'm, as, a, as an architect, I know where the problem is. Once the foundation is crooked, the rest, anything you like spend on the building is condemned. So we're going to the foundations now. The very foundation of your generation. And we're going to say, Lord. <laughs> we're going to ask him to replace our foundation with sapphires. Whatever they've done it with. Give me a new heritage. You understand what I'm saying? Good. Good. Now listen, I'm going to say, Lord, replace every evil foundation in my life with your own sapphires in Jesus' name. Replace every evil foundation with your own sapphires. Replace your God. Psalm 125, Psalm 125 verse 3 says, the rod, the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Oh, you see that rod of the wicked, you are going to break it. Amen. <laughs> I break every 
every rod of the wicked in my life, in my generations, in the name of Jesus. I break every rod of the wicked. In the name of Jesus. Perhaps you are here, you are wondering why you get into broken relationships. Things almost want to happen and then they stop. They want to happen, they want to stop. Then, hmm. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 15, verse 5, that your maker, your redeemer is your husband. One. Maybe you are wondering where you almost get into that contract and it fails. A near success syndrome all the time. We're going to pray about it. The Bible says there shall nothing be barren nor cast is young in the land. That means everything will come to fruition. Relationships will come to fruition. Pregnancies will come to fruition. Business ideas will come to fruition. Pet projects will come to fruition. Ha. Today. 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 I lift the cost of barrenness in my life of miscarriage. In my life, in Jesus' name. And we're not just talking about physical miscarriage. Come pray. Everything that causes my plans to miscarry. I won't rush you too much, but I will rush. In Genesis chapter 3, verse 17 to 19, we see where the struggle for eating came from. The Bible says, and the Lord cursed the earth. It didn't cost man, it cursed the earth. So that you have to toil before you eat. Now, work is a blessing, sweat is a curse. And Jesus Christ came to break the curse of sweat. In Luke chapter 22, verse 44, the Bible says his sweat was like great drops of blood falling to the ground. Because he wanted to make sure that you will stop struggling before you eat. You will walk, oh. It is struggle that you won't struggle. Are you with me in it? <laughs> Speak to the earth. I lift the cost of sweat over you in Jesus' name. You will yield your strength to me. Come on, talk to the earth. We lift the of sweat in the name of Jesus. You will yield unto us. You will yield unto us. We are children of the Most High. Malabo Satan, you will yield your strength. You will yield your strength. When I saw. Not us, not thistles. I speak to you, earth. In Jesus' name. Isaiah 41, verse 11. Behold, all those who are in. I want you to see because you will think that this woman, she just likes cursing. She, I, I'm a very gentle person. Behold, who said that? I'll take that mic from you. Behold, all those who are incensed against you shall be ashamed. Number one. Two, they shall be what? Disgrace. Three, they shall be as nothing. Four, those who strive with us shall what? Perish. Wait, two. Wait, 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 wait. They are not uh, angry against you because you stole their money. Just because the way you are walking, they don't like it. Just because the way you are shining is upsetting them. They shall be as nothing. They shall perish. They shall be ashamed. Say it in your words, John. Is there? Ashamed. Disgrace. As nothing. In the name of Jesus. Jeremiah 2011. Put it there. 2011. The Bible says of those, yeah. But the Lord is with me. Are you sure? As a mighty, awesome one. Therefore, my own, I don't know about your own, but my persecutors, they will what? Stumble. They will not prevail. 
they will be what? Greatly ashamed. Will they prosper? They will not prosper. Their everlasting confusion will never be forgotten. Wait, wait. This kind of prayer, we need to break it into two. So we are going to say, <laughs> I command my persecutors, stumble. You do not prevail. You are greatly ashamed. You will not prosper. In Jesus' name. One more thing. Their everlasting confusion will never be forgotten. You know when we are praying for Nigeria, we say the name should rot. Everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. I decree that all those who strive against me, their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. As many who strive against us, who strive against us? Who strive against us? Marcos Soto Mashata. The everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. They shall never be forgotten. Your name shall go up. In the name of Jesus. He can soon have a kid. Rika Tiana Proyeke. Manto Navia. He can soon have a kid. In the name of Jesus.